Hey, my name is Al, and Apple just released some new information about their new iPad. Pretty cool, but more importantly for us, ZBrush on iPad. So instead of like dissecting what we already know, you can go look through all the stuff that they released, watch the video. We're gonna see what the world thinks, and where do we go to see that? Well. I mean, I guess we'll go out to Reddit. Considering you can't have ZBrush on two devices with Macs on, I fail to see who would pay just to have this on an iPad. The five people who will use it, I hope they enjoy it. You need a license, gonna be very, very few people. Which iPad will it work on? And great point about currently, I can only use ZBrush on my computer. I use three computers in a day, every single weekday. I got my home computer I use. I've got my two different work computers that I'm bouncing around from school to school, and I can't use them both simultaneously. So I get one License one seat, it's easy enough to switch around, but makes a valid point. 18 comments. Can you use it with the M2 Pro? They didn't say anything about it. I doubt both of these statements. Pretty sure they're going to try and get this running on as many iPads as possible, and I would put money on it being completely new subscription for iPad. That's kind of my guess. My guess is, well, maybe not all iPads, obviously, but like newer iPads and within the last two years, and then yeah, a brand new monthly subscription. So if you have the full version of ZBrush, and then you'll add another monthly fee I guess ZBrush is what, like 35 bucks a month? So let's say 10 bucks a month, another 10 bucks to have this access for that. That's my guess. Who knows? iPad needs a new license. Arr, matey. Ooh, I never understand it when people like start talking like a pirate and things like this or like, let's set sales. Arr, matey. I just, I just don't get it. I, I do get it. It has to be cheaper, right? Yeah, I mean, it's going to be cheaper than the full version of ZBrush. It has to be. But I don't think you'll just automatically get it with the current subscription of your ZBrush. No way. Not sure why the above poster is so salty. Tons of people will use this, and it's obvious they're going to make it a tier that combines desktop and mobile. Also, it's not going to require the newest iPad. It's already running on CPUs lower than M1 for users in the beta. Yeah, I do think the last part's fine. It's obvious they're going to make a tier that combines desktop and mobile. Probably what was the first comment here yeah i know way like well some people maybe would but there is no way at this point that like zebra sculptors are just like never gonna sculpt on a pc again no way absolutely not and just like oh yeah i just do all my work on the ipad no i think it'll be professional users hobbyists who are like oh yeah no i can go do this on the train or whatever we don't ride trains in america but you know what i mean it's obvious they're going to make the tier that combines your desktop and mobile first time trusting a company to do the right thing you're about to face the harsh reality of capitalism okay but yeah maybe if it's a higher tier so instead of 35 bucks a month maybe it's like 50 bucks a month for both of them maybe but yeah raise your doggers probably doesn't know Maxon very well. They've really screwed ZBrush users and yeah, we don't forget. You're just being cynical for the sake of it. It's not about trusting them or doing that or the right thing. It's about migrating their current customers into additional platform that isn't already in their workflow. It makes more sense for this to be seen as something additional at a supplemented rate. For the sake of making more money, for the exact reason you're saying, most people are already happy with the desktop version, are not going to pay full price to have it on a second device, and they're not going to move over to iPad. But more people will if it's an addition to their current setup if they don't have to pay full price again. Yeah, I agree, but this has to be like a nominal fee in order for most people to even use it. I know big company evil, but what you're saying just doesn't even make sense if they're evil because if they want to maximize profits, they don't. They won't do what you're saying. This dude acts like we don't know Maxon. That's pretty great. Always down votes with that. If it's a subscription model, then I'm good. No thanks. It will be. There is no way you're going to buy a perpetual license of ZBrush on iPad. Not going to happen nope yeah it's max on it will be so i'm gonna be that guy and say that i'd rather they focus on desktop development yeah that's a really good point. Um, for the longest time now, the updates haven't really been that amazing. Let's see what else he says. I think recent years, the new features have been gimmicky. Will's proper UV mapping. Ooh, yeah. Remember that, uh, was that Peel? Peel UV or whatever they teased ever so slightly and it never happened. UV mapping support and proper retopo tools would actually be a lifesaver. I don't know if I need Maxon to split the focus of ZBrush development team. Ooh, that is a good point. Maybe they'll hire more people to focus on that. But really, if you have X amount of employees working on ZBrush development and now we have a iPad section like they are different things yeah that could be a bad thing the latest update was literally them just fixing their screensaver that they somehow broke <laughs> I didn't know that that's funny though if that's even partially true it's like being acquired by a big company Maxon stifles progress yes that is a tale as old as time for businesses like that Autodesk being another oh man 
don't rub it in. I'm a Maya user too. It's just like, oh gosh, this feels so bad. UV mapping, why? At ZBrush, if they don't improve sculpting, the program becomes worthless. UV mapping on ZBrush is, if anything, the big waste of time. Well, right now it's a waste of time. I don't think it has to be a waste of time. I think if they had some dope stuff in there, it could be great. This ZBrush is made for sculpting. Basically, let all their other programs focus on UV mapping and retopo. If I can only get this by paying into Maxon, then I'm out. Haven't updated since Maxon's takeover and don't intend to. If I can get a copy of this on my iPad, not by end of Maxon's predatory garbage, great, but I'm pretty sure that I won't be able to. Yeah, absolutely not. This will not be a perpetual license. They already like killed perpetual license for ZBrush, although you can still get it at third party. They just no longer offer it. I made lots of videos on that, so Nomad. This has got to be a common theme. Like, hey, just use Nomad. Just use Nomad. Uh, yeah, from what I've heard and seen, Nomad is really, really great. Nomad is sculpted. Is cheaper it's gonna be cheaper what is it like 15 bucks i have nomad on my ipad with quad remesher plug-in and i have zbrush 2023 perpetual on my pc but i want to try this too i don't know if you need to nomad quad remesher zbrush you'd be good but it is exciting to have zbrush on an ipad that, that'd be pretty cool you know people have been wanting that for years and years yes it's fully featured no it doesn't require m4 considering how hell-bent apple is on ui and ux i'm shocked they let the war crime of zbrush ui prevail well it's different it's changed if you think zbrush ZBrush UI is bad, you don't understand it yet. That's a good point. Like, I don't know how many years or months it takes for you to actually be in ZBrush to stop whining about it. Like, I'm fine with it. Like, I've customized it. It's great. Like, it's great. Boom, said it. And everybody says, oh, it's so terrible. Just, uh, no. And that comment doesn't really make a whole lot of sense because obviously even in this little screenshot, the UI is not ZBrush UI, you know? They've definitely changed it. ZBrush has amazing UI. What other software lets you customize literally everything where each button goes, what shortcut it has, down to even the color of the button and the drop shout effect. Yeah, I know. Like at this point in my life, people who say ZBrush UI sucks and it's like bad, it's like they literally aren't customizing it. If you don't customize, are there things that are still really weird? Yeah, top left corner of your screen is not file. Definitely some weird stuff, but I like it. If it's so good, why are people changing it, LOL? Yes, but they give us the ability to change it. They literally enable you to switch the UI entirely between a couple of presets, like two buttons. Do you know why? Because of work flow sometimes you need a model detail blah 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 pixel logic was extremely forward thinking when they gave their users the power to customize design uh, the ui in the way you see fit all right get out of here done talking about the ui i think zbrush on ipad will be less comfortable to use but i'm glad it's on ipad i'm glad it's on ipad too i do think that's a good thing i hope they allow us to use our license on our ipad no not gonna happen i don't think it's like okay i have a zbrush license and now i'm just gonna do the little maxon app bullcrap that says release my license to the ipad and now i can do it i don't think so no way i hope they allow us to use our license on the ipad macbook and pc but of course maxon has been completely the blank of a company to its users and won't. Yeah, that's true. I'm glad you're a realist. I refuse to believe it runs well. No man does, so it should as well. More worried about the price, personally. Yeah, I have no concerns about it running well. ZBrush runs on potatoes. Very true. It really does. Is this a full-featured ZBrush? No. No, it won't be. Like, there's not going to be shadow box on an iPad. There's not going to be, uh, there's lots of stuff that it just won't have, and some stuff it doesn't even need. Good UX is intuitive with carefully planned navigation. ZBrush is a big mess, you think, with the subscriptions they have, the money to employ a proper UX team. Yeah, it sucks trying to explain to people that the menus are in alphabetical order and i honestly didn't even know that that the menus are in alphabetical order that's kind of funny uh yeah okay didn't know that learn something new every day kids also this person knows their stuff okay also having to hold down control shift to activate certain brushes is a pain for people who have limited mobility in one hand yeah uh, sure and if i have no arms uh, it really sucks to press the shift button too sure it could be an option but people should also just be able to select the smooth and mask brushes without the modifier keys would be an easy fix to add accessibility well of course you can because you can add a button wherever you want so you can add a smooth brush that you could click on and then you have the smooth brush actually out okay we're going down a rabbit hole here nomad sculpt is 15 dollars f maxon 
All right, fair enough. Is it available on iPad? Yeah, of course it is. Spectacular with a pencil, but limited compared to ZBrush, but if you're just trying to sculpt and are willing to use other tools for retopology, textures, it's amazing. As much as I hate Maxon and their stupid subscription model, we've heard that often, haven't we? The inability to use my license on two devices, I'm excited. I use ZBrush almost daily and love the responsiveness of the Apple Pencil on my M1 iPad. I'm looking forward to having all the benefits of amazingly good hardware running my favorite sculpting app and the fact that files are fully compatible with a desktop top version is huge. Yep, that is pretty huge. There is a link for to become a beta tester. I don't have an iPad, so, you know, if Apple wants to send me an iPad, ZBrush Maxon wants to send me an iPad, I'd love to test it out, but, you know, I can't wait for Blender natively on iPads. Nah, don't hold your breath. No way. I don't think so. Like, that costs money. Like, your Blender has money. Don't get me wrong. They have lots of money because they have lots of people giving donations, and they have those giant companies like Apple's one of them who, you know, gives them money. They make money. But, no, I don't I don't think that's happening. I think Blender's never coming to an iPad. Too much money to invest for an iPad port, especially if they want to give it to us for free. That's true. Like, you spend all this money, time, resources, putting Blender on an iPad, and then Blender has to be free, you know? So people download, and then, yeah, no way. Looks like Nomad Sculpt, but better, so this is a good thing. If it's fully featured with custom brushes and can be used with an existing license, I'll buy one of the new iPad Pros. Dang, it's a lot of money. I don't even know how much these new iPads are, but, but to answer your question, if it's fully featured, no, it will not be fully featured featured it'll be fully featured like the app itself should be you know it should be fully functional if that's what you mean but fully featured in the sense it has everything that zbrush has it's just not going to happen nor should it and can be used with an existing license doubt it nope one of the big benefits of seeing it on the ipad is now you can 3d scan anything on the ipad including people's faces that's actually pretty smart yep i didn't think about just how easy that would be you know i don't have fancy phones or an ipad or anything but the lidar take a picture and then boom or whatever not a picture but you know scan it with lidar and have it in zbrush brush instantly hopefully that would be pretty sweet i may have a bit of stockholm syndrome but after years of using the cluster f that is zbrush ui on pc my honest reaction is what the f that can't be zbrush it's too clean so what do you think let me know down below and if you're starting zbrush brand new trying to learn it watch this video